Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. In today's video, we're going to look at um, some of the different flags on Chrome OS Flex that I use that you might find useful on your installation of Chrome OS Flex. And everything I'm going to talk about here works on both uh, Flex and probably regular Chrome OS. And so this video should pertain to both. But since Flex is what I generally use, that's what I'm using here. <clears throat> so we're just going to go through it. And, um, you know, maybe as more Chrome OS Flex updates come out, I'll do more of these videos because the flags tend to change. I'm on version 103 right now. And so the first one I have here enabled is um, enable selfie camera and screen capture. Now, this one may or may not be useful to you. Uh, if you're going to do screen recordings, maybe I can uh, demonstrate it right here for you. Say I'm on video. You can go to settings, and they will give you an option to use a webcam and the microphone. And I can now say, let's do the full screen. Okay, my laptop's over here, so what it does is it gives you a little circle. And um, there I am. So that's what that flag does. Let me just cancel out of here. So if you're going to do screen recording, I think it's good to have. Moving on. Productivity experiment monthly calendar view. Now, what this does, you might notice down in the corner, my uh, time and my date are now split up into two. And so I can click on the date, and I get this nice calendar that you can scroll through, which I love. This is like the best thing of Windows. No, well, it's not the best thing of Windows, but I like having it. And then so when you click on the time, you get the classic, uh, I don't know what they call that, but it has all your little settings and whatnot. So I like that. It splits it up, and um, it gives you a calendar. Very nice. Okay, the next one is a notifications revamp. And I don't know how to force myself to get a notification. Actually, I kind of do. I can search for uh, JavaScript. Oh, wrong keyboard. <laughs> notification API. Maybe they'll have a demo here. Um, maybe they don't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It makes your notifications on Chrome OS Flex and Chrome OS look way nicer. I just, I suggest using it. They're better. Um, it groups things together and it just looks a lot nicer. So there's that. Okay, next one. Allow multiple cross teeny containers. <clears throat> this one, if you watch my video about the new terminal features in Chrome OS, this allows you, if you have Linux enabled on your system, to have multiple Linux containers, uh, which are kind of sandboxed away from each other. Uh, if Most people probably would not use this, so it's probably not the most important thing for you. But, um, and frankly, the only reason I have it on mine is for showing it on the channel here. But there are instances where it could be helpful, especially if you do development on your Chrome OS Flex device. So that one I'd say for most users is probably not needed, but it's there. Okay, same with this generic guest OS installer. Um, I don't even know exactly what that one does at this moment. So you, it's not one I'm recommending, but I did a video about it yesterday or so, which you can check out. Okay, desktop PWA launch handler. This lets progressive web apps um, become the default handler for files on your system. And I'll just give you an example here. I uh, <clears throat> have a text file. Normally on Chrome OS Flex, when you open it, it opens with... Uh, just a second, it went on my other screen. With this text app, which, you know, that's fine. But uh, I wanted to open it with another web app that I found online. It's actually one that I made called TypePad. So I changed the file association which you can do with that flag, and now it opens using TypePad. So, if you use progressive web apps a lot, which I do, I would recommend that flag. It's, um, in the next few versions, they're probably not gonna need a flag for it. That's gonna be on by default. But um, since I'm a web developer, I turned it on on mine. Okay, the next one is enable files trash. I think this one's great. By default, there's no uh, trash or recycle bin on Chrome OS, but if you turn that flag on, you have one. So if you delete something, instead of just being gone, it goes to your trash where you can recover it. So I highly recommend that one. I think it should be on by default. Moving on. Okay, pointer lock for Linux applications. So if you have Linux enabled on your Chrome OS device and you want to do any games, 
particularly first person shooter games, you probably notice that they don't work very good because um, there's no pointer lock, so you can't really look around with your mouse very good. Uh, the pointer lock for Linux applications fixes that for the most part. So if you're going to do any gaming on your Chrome OS Flex device, particularly first person shooters, I'd highly recommend turning on the pointer lock for Linux applications flags. All right, moving on. This is the last one on my list here, and it's my favorite one. And I think this should be the default for Chrome OS, especially on a laptop or a desktop. Maybe not on a tablet, but it's the Productivity Experiment App Launcher, which looks like this. Uh, normally, when you open the uh, app launcher on Chrome OS, it's this big, ugly thing that comes out of the bottom. I don't like it. I've never liked it. and um, But I do love this one. It uh, just gives you a more traditional type menu. It's smaller. You just type in what you're looking for. So I just want voxel paint. Just start typing it in. Hit enter. There you go. And um, so, yeah. There's that. So... Obviously, there's a lot more flags on Chrome OS, but these are the ones that I use, and these are the ones that I kind of recommend, and I just told you why on each of them. If there's others that uh, you use all the time, you can let me know in the comments and uh, let everybody else know, and that'll be helpful for all. Um, but the ones I showed you here, I think, make the Chrome OS Flex experience a lot better. Like I said, they should work on regular Chrome OS, too. And probably every couple of updates for Chrome OS. I'll do another one of these as the flags change, just to keep everyone updated. Because I did one a couple months ago, but there's been new flags that come out since then. So there you go. Those are the flags I used. Hopefully you liked the video. If not, that's fine too. I think, I think it's cool that you're still watching if you didn't like it. Uh, it'd be cool if you subscribed, liked the video, left me a nice comment or a main comment. That's fine too. But either way, I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye now.